here, Lynn, with Hollywood First Look, and you guys, I am so excited because today I'm in Burbank, California, and I'm sitting in Walt Disney's office. Today I'm going to talk to the director and some of the producers behind their latest animated feature, Wish. Let's take a first look. I let you live it for free, and I don't even charge you it. I clean up all your messes, and I'm always there when you need to vent. I give and give and give and give. You'd think they'd all be content. And all I really want is just a little respect. And this is the thanks I get. I'd love for you to tell me what, <laughs> two things, what makes a good villain, and two, what makes Chris Pine such a good villain? Chris, <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with you. Okay, well, make, what makes a good villain for me is that that character that um, they're, <laughs> they're unafraid to be themselves. <laughs> they are 100% themselves. Uh, he is 100% nar narcissistic. Uh, he is, and every time they walk on the screen, your eye just goes, Zzz, and it's like, oh my gosh, what are they going to do next? And the, the character that you sort of, you love to hate, you know? I heard a, a little girl in the uh, lobby yesterday after it was over, she goes, I just want to punch him. You. That makes a good villain. But I guess Chris Pine. You want to talk about? Yeah, that? Chris Pine has a really charming side that you know we all know and love, right? So he's perfect for representing this king that everyone in Rosas look up to. We wanted to make it believable that this is a great king, and to Asha discover the different truths about him. And Chris has such a amazing range to go from charming to go from you know someone that has, is powerful to <laughs> the villainous of the villain he went there and we got scared a few times recording <laughs> him as he sang his villain song in the booth he would get into the characters and then he would sing those and like how's that <laughs> <laughs> stars to guide me I wish and throw caution to every warning sign oh you spoil us with your magic I didn't do it Ariana DeBose just won the Oscar last year <laughs> can you talk to me about how she ultimately stepped into the role of Asha yeah. I think the thing that was so important with her was she you know you we we do it very differently than a lot of places because we, we like to rely on the voice but the voice has to be able to bring all of the layers of the character through in combination with the animation so when we're finding the right actor that's the most important thing and there was such warmth in her voice generosity silliness curiosity all this this great spirit um that the minute i heard her it's almost like i knew I could feel Asha, and that's what I'm always looking for. So for me, she was so inspiring to every single moment. Um, she brought the most compassionate part of the film. Her worry for others and how they feel was, the, in, like, particularly Asha's worry about her grandfather's feelings as, he, as she gives tough news. And all of that I could write because of the way that Ariana brought herself to it. And then, of course, she's got this incredible power in her. Last night, I made a wish on a star. Uh, <laughs> and the star answered. There are so many Easter eggs in this film. Yes. Can you tell me how many Easter eggs are off the top of your head <laughs> that you guys may know? Don't say what they are. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some really good ones. And every time they popped up on the screen, I was just cracking up. Like... There are some obvious ones. There are some subtle ones. The list is quite long. Yes. Uh, I think occasionally I, I see one that I, I didn't even realize was in there. So uh, everybody kind of contributes to the ideas. And that's the magic of it, right? That we create some in the script, but then the animators start to put stuff in, and then the effects folks start to put stuff in. So every department claims that as their own. So there's, there's too many to talk. But all of them hopefully should be organic to the yeah. story we're telling, and that but that was that part was important to us. But, yes, and that, that I think that's the reason why it appealed to me so much yeah. was because it was not, it was some of them were subtle, some yes. of them were obvious. But as a Disney fan, yeah. Yeah. I 
thoroughly was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And the movie was created with thinking of the Disney DNA, you know? So it was meant to be emotionally evocative of Disney first and foremost. And then you have the literal stuff. But it started with the idea of wishing and wishing on a star that's quintessential Disney. Find Asha! It's a dead end. With unsanded mahogany. Oh, good find, Valentino. My butt found it. <laughs> I started this. I have to finish it. 